With the COVID-19 pandemic, artists faced the harsh reality of not being able to perform. And as an artist, performing equates monies, which means sustaining one's livelihood. But all was not lost as innovation and creativity emerged, instilling some semblance of hope. And that hope, embracing digital. Before COVID-19 vaccination began, some of the younger Soak and Chutney artists sought out Instagram and Facebook to stay relevant by going live and performing for viewers. But most did not understand the monetization of virtual productions or the intricacies that goes into a successful virtual show. This is where webcasting pioneer and businessman Kenny Phillips, who started live streaming as we know it since 2005, stepped in. Well and since the first state of emergency in TNT helped over 200 artists put on virtual shows. A big artist could make millions for the year. A, medio a mediocre could make 500,000. And a small artist with a, a, a very small hit could make a few, you know, 50, 60,000 dollars. So zero, they're making zero. You realize since vaccination, everybody gone, everybody fly out to, to perform because that is, that is their job. And they're willing to take the risk. You know, they have no choice. But like any other business, one must have knowledge of what they are doing and understand the investment that needs to be made, or in this case, the appropriate platform to use for a virtual show. First things first, you have to establish your, your, your viewership. Who who is your viewership? Who are you broadcasting to? Um, is it Calypso, Soka, Reggae? Decide, decide your genre and then find the right platform that suits that. And as far as investment goes for a virtual show, Phillips explained. Make sure you have proper lighting, proper cameras, proper audio. If people want to do lives and just sit down in the gallery sit down in the gallery with their phone and telling people contribute here, donate to, to this place, donate to that place. People are not going to pay if, it, if you don't put in all the quality. But Phillips is adamant that virtual productions is here to stay, especially for the Soak and Chutney artists who have embraced it wholeheartedly. However, he believes there needs to be a further change in mindsets first as it pertains to virtual productions and its relevance in today's society within the entertainment industry. There's no crowd again until we don't know when. You have to rethink your position, you have to reprogram your mind and start to think what can I do to be relevant. Ultimately, the thrust towards virtual and embracing virtual can be seen as one of the takeaways of the COVID-19 pandemic across the board and globally. The question now is, with this thrust, what will be next? I am Sherilyn Lewis, urging you to live for local. Islands in the sun.